Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the Mrs. Edition of Pate Performance. I'm kind of doing the little double duty today, so forgive me. I'm used to being on the other side of the camera, um, but honestly, part of being a team is helping out the team. So Mrs. Pate's performance thought I'd chip in and help out the mister a little bit today. Um, hope this microphone's running. Hope you can see me in the camera. Um, here in the driveway, um, on this beautiful couple days into fall, um, we have a Snapper NXT React Drive System lawnmower. I'm getting a little tired of seeing it hanging around. Mister's got a lot on his plate right now. So a um, couple things I do know about it. It's definitely one of the worst Snapper lawnmowers ever made. Why, you ask? Well, it's electric start only. What can I tell you about it? Well, it's not running yet. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a little troubleshooting today to get this guy up and rolling. We'll do a little tinkering around on it. Um, but I do know the one thing about it is that it does have the same type of engine as the Mr.'s Time Master. If you haven't checked out some of his vlog series, make sure you check out some of those videos. Phenomenal. Um, so that's probably the one positive that it has going for it. And after today, I'm hoping the other positive is that we have a running snapper lawnmower that we can post, polish up, and get ready for a sale. So the first thing I wanna check out right now is the battery. Let's change her out because clearly, no start, no sale. So today with me, I have a brand new battery. I have with me my quarter air ratchet tool. Love me, my Milwaukee line. We have the Milwaukee line uh, tools here for the driveway. The mister has it at work. And I also have some Milwaukee tools um, for the inside of the house as well. Um, some of the miter saws, as well as even a hand vac. Um, so it's a great line. Uh, we love that the batteries can switch on out, but I'm gonna use this here quarter ratchet to take off the back of the panel, which houses the battery pack. So let's give her a try. So let me get the, the camera adjusted around to the back to give you a better angle. Okay, so today the battery pack that we're using, you're gonna go ahead and find the eBay affiliate link right down in the description so that you can order the correct part to fix your snapper lawnmower as well. The electric quarter inch air ratchet, um, not air ratchet, electric, the mister's always on this for me. Um, the electric quarter inch ratchet that I'm using today, righty tighty, lefty loosey. The mister's always telling me I need like a tattoo to remind me of this. I'm gonna hopefully make him proud because I know if I strip anything, he's gonna have my neck. One down. Two to go. I like to make sure my parts are right here on the mat so I don't lose them. I'm gonna go ahead and take that housing down. And as you can see, red to red, black to back. Just remember your colors of your wire just have to match what's on the battery. So it's not hard to remember. And it has this little housing, this plastic housing that the battery is going to slide right into. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna slide it right out. Literally, seamlessly, just slide that right back in. I'm gonna take off these plastic pieces. It may seem self-explanatory for some, but hey, for some of us who don't do this all the time, just skip, give a little reminder. Now I'm gonna connect the same colors, black to black, red to red. Don't even have to really think about that because you're just connecting colors. Okay, so now once we have our battery into the red and the black, so we have right in the house, the little click, we have black and black. 
Okay, you slide it up in there. And to be honest, I was a little bit more unsure of myself when I put this back up into here. So that's why I was playing with it so many times. I know the mister would have just had it in on the first try. I don't do this all the time. So obviously that's something I have to get better at. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just hand. I'm not a lefty, clearly. I better just use the hand I'm dominant with. We're going to make sure we're righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, make sure that's in there. You don't want to overdo it. The mister always tells me overdoing it doesn't mean you're a tough guy, it just means you're stripping it. So that's not something I'm trying to go for right now. And now we'll go the next side. I'm making sure it's inside the socket. And it's in there. So now I have it, everything flush. Everything's nice and tight inside of there. And now, <laughs> I guess this is the true test. Now it's gonna be the true test. Will it start? You don't need to pull two handles, just one from what I've read. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull the one. Cause see when I pull one, they both come up. Everybody cross some fingers, some toes, some eyes, whatever you had to cross. She works, but now we're not done. We have another issue. Getting her started was just the first step. Let's take a look around the front. Okay, so I wanted to get set up for us here because we're gonna need um, a few more tools here to make the next part of our um, little project happen today. So it's great that we got her up and running with a new battery, but let's face it, a lawnmower like this with this size engine, just like in the Mr.'s Time Master, it's a beaut. It's a lot of power behind a lawnmower like this. And let's face it, the downside is the fact that let's just say someone lets this battery drain, battery dies. It would be so nice to have that pull start mechanism. But the bottom line is this machine doesn't come with one. It doesn't mean you can't make it happen. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna add that pull start mechanism onto this particular snapper. I'm gonna show you just how easy you can make this happen at home. Again, down in the description, we'll make sure that you have the eBay affiliate link so you can make it happen at home. Just from a lot of like landscaper repairs and equipment he works on for some of our local landscapers, he has a lot of these pull start mechanisms available um, just in the garage and the shed and I'm really believing based upon the size that we'll be able to make this one work for this size machine so um, and it's in really really good condition the thing looks practically new so we're gonna have this going for us I needed a Phillips head to get the cover off the top of this lawnmower so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Phillips head Get these two screws off of the top. You don't wanna damage the top of this cover because I'm actually gonna need this cover once again because I'm gonna make this thing um, utilize and work to our advantage once I get the pull start um, put into the inside. Um, and I'm just gonna do some little fabrication um, to the cover to make it fit over our pull cord. So you don't wanna damage it. You don't wanna lose the screws. Keep those in a safe place. We'll come back to it. Okay, so I got my two screws. Those just came out right with my Phillips head. I'm gonna gently put her over. I'm gonna put my screws right in the cover. 
keep my Phillips head right with there. And then as you can see here, pretty nifty if you look inside. Um, it looks a lot like what I have right here, minus the pull cord uh, start. So what we need to do is we need to take off um, what, the bolts that are bolting down this cover right here. I'm gonna go back to my one quarter electric. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You wanna save these, we're gonna need these again, so keep these in a safe spot. I like the cover, that's a nice little location for us right now. And it doesn't take much to get these little parts off, so don't give it too much gusto. And you could just use your little finger for the rest. Okay, I'm gonna put her down because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift off this cover piece. I don't know if you like to do a little Frisbee on the side. I, I really don't need her right now. But again, I, I know some people believe in keeping all their parts, so I'm just gonna put her to the side. I don't know if the mister has a use for her. Okay, so now the part is, we have to think about this here. I'm gonna remember where this cover here was lying where the pull start would have been was around this location here. So you wanna think about lining up your pull start in about the same location. But remember, this wasn't fit for this particular pull start, so we might have to do some finessing. We might have to do a little bit of gentle pushing. Looks like we're lined up, and we just might need to do a little bit of finagling to get her to fit properly over the screws that are there. I heard a little pop. There we go, don't be nervous. Just get it in there. Okay, I have two in. Just need that one more. One more that's being a little bit of a pickle. There we go. There, she's sitting in real nice. Good. Okay, I got all three. Looking good in there, okay. Um, now what we wanna do is remember these little guys that were holding down the original, we're gonna use them again. Because again, it was the same type of uh, circumference around. We need to hold down those screws that cover. I'm gonna start them with my finger. I'm just gonna get it a little bit of start. A little bit of work out the gate. This guy on the side, he's gonna give me a run for my money. Come on. It's like our first date. He's not even taking me out to dinner. There we go. Okay. He, he wanted a little finesse. He worked, made me work for my money. And now the next one, here we go. A little bit easier. And hopefully the last one's the easiest one of all. Don't wanna count my chicks too soon. Hold on. A little patience. Here we go. Okay, and the last step, we're gonna get that electric ratchet back. But again, I'm gonna beg of you, not too much, just enough. Fit it over with your socket. Just a little bit, tiny bit, fit it over. Little bit. Yeah, those, are, those guys are in place. Okay, so now, before we move on, because I can tell you right now, I do wanna make this cover work for here, but first. Okay, but first, before you go fabricating the cover, before you, you start getting too excited, we need to actually make sure this works. So, fingers crossed, send all the good vibes, all the good juju, just like you would any old pull start, squeeze the top, get ready to bend, and we 
did good. I don't know who that just was. It's definitely a customer. Hopefully, because of the hair, he doesn't think the Mr. straightened his hair. And I hope I'm not being confused with the Mr. <laughs> but again, so now here's the thing. Now we have a pull start in case someone doesn't want to go for the electric start or the battery dies. So now we've got a nice meaty engine. We've got a pull start. We've got an electric start. We've got a couple different ways to start this girl. I want to make sure that we're putting the cover back on her, but we're going to have to fabricate her in order for her to sit. But first, let me show you something. This will not possibly fit. Let me move you a little closer here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you can see. I'm kind of doing triple duty here. This won't possibly fit on here. We can't just have this. I know what you're saying. Oh, but Chris is flush, like not a big deal. For my friends who are starting out like me, yeah, I thought the same thing at first. Like, okay, we'll just make this rub. No big deal, you can't. We've gotta be able to cut a notch out here. The other thing, if you guys picked up on it, I'm also going to have to, and I, I've got some ideas, but I'm gonna let the mister think on this too. We're gonna to need a place to put the pull cord on the side of the mower. Like the pull cord's gotta hang out here. And I really don't wanna do just a zip tie with something with this kind of engine on it, with electric start now, with a pull start. It's a good looking machine. We're gonna shine her up real pretty. Zip tie just looks like real cheesy at this point. So we're gonna wanna think of something nicer to do. Um, I just like a little metal clip maybe, like you almost like you see the ones that you put Christmas lights up with. It kind of looks like a little, like a U shape. I've seen him do something like that before, maybe something like that. But now what we gotta do, what I can do for him, is I can create the notch. So we can notch this out. If you can see right here, it's probably real tough for you to see, but on your cover, there's a notch. It's almost like they predicted that you would wanna do pull start at some point. There's a little notch here that we're gonna kind of follow in a sense. I'm gonna start here and move on over to notch out with my snips, okay? Um, and we're gonna take it real nice and slow so that that pull cord can glide with ease out from under that top cover. So we're gonna start slow. It seems like I'm being a little overly cautious. You read me right, I certainly am. Because you wanna know something, I'm a firm believer. I'm gonna cut small, because I certainly, can. I'm not gonna sit here and glue back. <laughs> so, and I know the mister, for as appreciative as he may be that I'm trying to help him out, I know he's not gonna be a big fan of me messing something up on him. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna cut once and careful. So I'm gonna take this slow, and steady. I'm gonna use the guidelines that they gave me first, and I'm gonna see how that works out for us, and then I'll take more if I need to. And I have to be honest with you, I have snips in the house that I actually like better than what the mister had in the garage, to be quite honest with you. But we'll see, we'll see how this keeps going if I uh, feel the need that I wanna use, maybe mine. Cause I feel like his are not giving me a nice smooth line. Cause you do wanna make sure it looks nice and polished. You don't want this to look like a hack job. So now, 
I'm gonna stop here for a second because I don't like how his snips are cutting. So I'm gonna grab my snips from the house. So I'm gonna stop you there for one second and I'm gonna grab my other snips. Okay, so um, the ones that I wanted to grab, actually, huh, these are ones that we've actually given away in giveaways before. You know what? You know what this reminds me of? We need to do another giveaway sometime soon. Um, so as you can see, I wanted to grab something that was a little bit smaller. Size doesn't always matter. Um, I needed something to obviously, I wanted to maneuver in here just a little bit more. And I wanna get in here to just kind of pull up. Pull up a little bit more. Um, because I really wanna have like a little bit more of a cleaner edge. And I'm gonna come in there with my bigger ones in a moment. Okay. And I'll cut clean across. Don't you worry, we're not done. Oh, that's a fantastic flag you guys just missed uh, that just went by. Guy had some great flags on the back of his truck. Um, so see how I'm just, I'm bending that down, bending that down. Okay. Just one more little area. Guys, you don't wanna rush through the final steps. I know I might be sounding a little tedious right now. Part of it's because I, I don't wanna disappoint the mister. I don't wanna do a slop job on the finishing touches. But also, you shouldn't wanna do a slop job, especially if you're looking to resale an item. I certainly don't wanna come across in the last part of the game. I got the electric start going. I got the pull start going. And now I'm gonna rush through a hack job. That's just not the way we roll around Pate's performance. I'd rather honestly come back to something before I do a hack job on it. So, and I know we can always come in and we can even polish this up a little bit more. I'm fussy like that. I kind of am a firm believer that you do a job the right way or you don't do it at all. get that last little piece out and you know what I'm sure we'll even go in there and we might we'll even probably clean that up a little bit more but I just want to give you the essence of what we got going on here now I also want to tell you if you're a little unsure cut smaller before going larger too looks a little tacky if you go over oversized so now let's let's get her back on I'm gonna move you on over here a little bit more okay let me take a look okay hopefully you guys got a good view there Okay, so now, oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's gonna sit on there real nice. And you know what? Let's get these screws back in the game. They can help me to position her a little bit better too. Help me out. Use what you got to help but yeah, when you can. Oh yeah, see, we should, good thing we didn't go much more. That was the perfect amount on that. That's gonna look nice, real nice. Okay, got her in a good place. I'm gonna get that Phillips head back again. Get them back in position. Next one. There's always, there's always that one. So you're gonna have to finagle with it sometimes a little bit. Make sure you got these guys in real good. This guy's wanting to me to take him out to dinner first, apparently, before I get him in there. Let's make sure we got both sides in nice and tight. Make sure, give them a nice little, little tap in the front. Make sure you got no movement there because now that we're gonna be pulling, the last thing you want is for this guy to have movement on him. And there we go. There you have it. Nice little notch for her. 
I'll feel real good when we have somewhere for that cord to rest. And there we have it. Electric start, up and running, pull cord on a nice beefy motor, just like our Time Master. And now we have a Snapper NXT React Drive system, something that for the most part, nobody's loving. We're gonna shine her up. We're gonna make her look real, real pretty. And you know what I'm gonna say? Dollar signs. So I hope this was of help to you. Make sure you check out the description for any parts that you're looking for for those eBay affiliate links. And make sure you check us out, the Mr. and I on Saturday mornings, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you subscribe, click those notification bells, give a thumbs up if you had a good time, you learned something, picked up something new today. And again, thanks for the support. Until the next time, later.